Good morning, everybody. Yep, death before decaf. <laughs> Hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. I want to thank Ellen. Uh, her YouTube channel is Ellen True Christian Tears of Sinners. Um, she does videos in French. And I want to thank her very much for sending me this information. We had done a video, oh my goodness, I don't know if it was earlier this year or last year. It was about Paul, a caretaker on a property that Watchtower owned. And it was five kingdom halls and a huge property. And I know there was a legal battle going on because we were asked to take the video down because of this legal um, case. And it looks like it's been settled and the property has gone up for sale. And I'm just going to read some of her email. Um, as you already know, the huge complex containing several kingdom halls and various other buildings situated in Pioneer Place in Croydon, England, is now officially up for sale by Kingdom Hall Trust using an estate agent called Acorn Group Limited. And I'm going to put the link down below to this property listing. Um, we didn't want to wait until the end of December. We wanted to get this information out as soon as possible. And uh, it's uh, six pages of this property listing. And they have aerial pictures and they show like where the boundaries are and all of that. And when we had done our video, um, we had shown clips of Paul the caretaker. And it was so sad because there was him and some other elderly JW people that were living in these homes that was right on the property and Watchtower was trying to kick them out and I remember in the video Paul is standing there talking and showing in the parking lot how Watchtower had come in and put up what we would call a redneck fence you know t-post with just like barbed wire or tape or something up and a, during the video a car comes through and drives right through it so that was good to see but this was highly illegal because they were blocking the residents from getting to their mailboxes. Um, my friend Paul, who has been living all his life in a house situated within the complex, has asked me to urgently forward to you the sales advertisement contained in the estate agent's brochure. Please kindly open the Acorn Estate Agent webpage linked below and you'll be able to see the entire property including all the details of the sales advertisement. The red line surrounding the place, grounds, and field fields is highlighting the actual size and boundaries of the development for sale. Uh, Paul's house is situated on the north side of the complex, showed on the picture, just beyond the red line, and cannot be sold as part of the complex as the house belongs to him. So we're so happy to hear, you know, that he can at least keep his house and the other houses adjacent to his are also occupied by old JWs and cannot be part of the sale either. So we're glad, you know, that they can't kick them out and those houses are theirs. Having said that, the owners of these dwellings could easily be bought out by Kingdom Hall Trust to free up their properties and move out, should they choose to do so. In view of adding these dwellings to the sale, and this way increase the sales profit for the organization. Like I said, I'm going to put the link down below. And then she goes on to talk about the small, um, the tall fence they had put between the small dwellings and the actual place for sale. And um, how it was illegal. Um, most recently a fleet of JWs has been recruited to clean up the surrounding gardens and areas that were left neglected so that the place would look more attractive when the estate agent come and do their photos for the brochure and of course more appealing to potential buyers. Um, Kingdom Hall Trust is hoping to sell to other religions with the most likely being a Sharia Muslim community from South London as at present bids, bids have not been accepted and the Hindus from the Hindu temple in Nisden who are also interested in the site. The Kingdom Hall Trust will be happy to accept any offer in excess of at least 3.5 million pounds. And that's here in the little brochure that they have. But like I said, they've got picture, you know, and they've got the property 
all mapped out here. So just another property that Watchtower is going to make what we would call a pretty penny on. And um, also, I just wanted to share something real quick here uh, from the Golden Age. And it's interesting because I was actually looking for this article and I happen to notice this. They have the old world dying and the new world. But look right here in the middle. That is a naked man with a staff looking to the sun. That could be a staff, scepter, whatever you know you want to call it. But I'm hoping to do a video when I get a chance on this particular article because it's masonry and mythology and there was some interesting things in that that I wanted to cover but this other article I just wanted to mention this is from the April 22nd 1925 Golden Age and I couldn't use the picture of that naked man on this one because the address label is right on top of it but I just wanted to show you here the automatic electronic diagnosis and I just want to share something with you from the New World Translation. This is the large reference print, 1984. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 May the very God of peace sanctify you completely and sound in every respect. May the spirit and soul and body of you brothers be preserved in a blameless manner at the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the soul and spirit aren't the same. There's three aspects of our bodies. And even science will tell you, these are just meat sacks and electricity with a consciousness. So same thing. Three in our bodies. And the reason I bring this up is because in the uh, April 22nd, 1925 Golden Age, they had the automatic electronic diagnosis so you know I understand that our bodies are electric electricity even our brain works on electricity but they go in and this is a machine that they were actually selling and they advertise it in the same magazine for $35 of course it was later deemed demonic you know spiritism but the Biola Wave Trap, the electronic radio Biola, Biola, and it's going to be curing you of your problems. Well, this is also the same time, and I'd have to go back and look, but I do have, you know, the quotes that during this time, the Golden Age was also um, advertising radioactive packs that you could, like, put on certain parts of your body because they thought radiation was good for you so you know who knows about this it was later called quackery but it's just interesting how the golden age was pushing this and I want to thank all of you so much for your love and support I mean it has just been overwhelming and I mean I've been getting some amazing phone calls and emails and comments under our videos and when I get an email from a newly out JW that says, I just found you, I'm just waking up, you know, please don't stop, you know, we need you. I mean, how, how can I abandon them? We've worked so hard for the past seven years to try to build up a community of love and support especially for those who are leaving or who have been abused and we can't give that up we just can't so we will try to struggle plug on best we can and I want to thank so much many of you many many of you have contacted us with um, different suggestions uh, for Mikey's feet and you know medical help and a homeopathic help and we appreciate it and we are looking at all of it 
and um, I even talked to somebody on the phone thank you sweetie so you know we appreciate all of this and um, so anyway also we have been contacted and I just want to say any Pimo elders if you want to get us the documents I suggest you create a separate email nothing associated with your regular email create a separate email maybe even on a you know if you use Gmail then use Yahoo or something else create another e email on another email program and send me an email at Kimmy K I M M Y B R O O K S Kimmy M Brooks at gmail.com with those documents and we would appreciate it so much. Um, our source that sends us the documents, he just sent me a bunch and he's feeling the same way. He said, Who else do they have to send these to? And, um, so I do want him to focus on his personal life first and then if he has time to do activism you know and get the documents to us then you know that would be the best thing for him we are also working on another video uh, people have sent us research and emails and we appreciate that so much and um, we're going to try to get some of these done. Um, I've got a little bit of research to do before we do this one in Colossians. Oh my goodness, this got this is going to blow you guys' mind because it's right in the JW Bible. So, thank you so much for everything, everyone. We love you so much in love and light and positive, positive. Bye.